taking a live look outside right now from the Mission Ridge camera and it is cloudy skies gray out there. Let's get to meteorologist Cedric Haynes here in the studio with a check of our forecast and Cedric here watching that radar. I am very close to the trees as we go throughout this afternoon. The good news is the uh, majority we had a good thunderstorm off to the northern half of the area, but that has since shifted off towards the east now, and that trend will continue. Here's a look at the radar now, and you can see the last of that activity now moving to the north. It was pretty strong as it was over portions of Bledsoe County a little earlier with lots of lightning, but now just some downpours making their way over towards portions of uh, Spring City, over towards Athens, and eventually this will drift down, probably affecting you folks over in Cherokee and Clay Counties in North Carolina. Let's go on a little closer now and show you what we're talking about here again. Dunlap, you just had a nice little decent downpour. Kegel, Kegel Mountain, you had some of that lightning, probably pretty loud there a little earlier, but now that's weakened as it's moved over towards Dayton and Decatur. Again, with just some heavier rainfall now making its way across parts of that area. Here's a look at future scan, taking the current radar image and projecting it out about an hour. And you can see, again, some of that light to moderate rain drifting out of uh, portions of Dayton over towards Athens. And again, it may clip you over northern portions of Cherokee County, northern Polk County as well. But this is basically on the way out and notice not much behind it. And you can see where we have the clouds and the rain and where we have more clearing in the sky and more sunshine beginning to break through 59 in Murphy, Athens, 57 in Dayton, 59 in Altamont. But then you head to the south, 64 degrees in Cleveland, 66 in Chattanooga, but it's already 70 right now in Dalton, 73 degrees in Fort Payne. So here's the basic premise of what we've got going on. A warm front is lifting to the north now, taking with it some of that uh, cooler, stable air off to the north. South of that, we've got warm and more unstable air, mid to upper 70s. And I think these numbers will pay us a visit as we go into this afternoon. So while it may be a little cool and cloudy out there right now, I expect those clouds to give way to some sunshine as we go into the late afternoon hours as rain chances quickly dwindle and temperatures they're going to shoot up there. We're thinking temperatures into the mid to upper 70s as we go throughout this afternoon. Thanks to that extra little bit of sunshine building in across the area. Hey, it is opening day for uh, the lookouts here. Lookouts baseball takes off tonight. First pitch at 715 and temperatures, you know, they'll be in the 70s. So pretty nice baseball temperatures out there with a mix of sun and clouds giving way to partly cloudy skies tonight. I don't really see any weather issues in terms of anything for the game tonight. Now severe weather will be ongoing off to our west as we go throughout later this evening and tonight. In fact, a pretty significant severe weather outbreak. Look at that a level four risk all the way up into Iowa as we go throughout later on this evening and tonight. But again, for us, we'll be seeing skies clear out a little bit with some sunshine this afternoon. You may see the clouds return tonight with a spotty shower tomorrow morning, but I think tomorrow will mainly be mostly cloudy, warm and windy as we go throughout your Wednesday, but also mainly dry. But then Wednesday night and especially early Thursday, that's when our best chance of showers and thunderstorms will move across the area. We'll watch that because one or two of those storms could be on the strong and severe side. You can see a level two risk here across portions of the Tennessee Valley here and the main threats and concerns out there. Damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado, maybe some small hail. The best chance is going to be to our west, but that line will be weakening moving our way, but it's one we'll watch as it does move in. It stays unsettled and off and on wet as we go throughout your Easter weekend, and then that will be followed by another cool down heading into the following week. So enjoy the warm weather while we have it. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast again. A few spotty showers exiting the area today, then warm and windy for your Wednesday highs near 80. Watching that chance of strong storms early Thursday morning and right now unsettled, but not a washout for Easter weekend. Latrice.